हाय डिस्पाइट ऑफ एनी फॉल्ट अ सिस्टम शुड बी एबल टू प्रोवाइड सर्विसेज टू द यूजर्स एंड दिस इज नोन एज फॉल्ट टॉलरेंस एंड सिस्टम रिजिलियंस विच आर लोकल सेफ्टी मैकानिजम्स टू द प्राइमरी सिस्टम बट वंस दीज मैकानिजम्स ऑल्सो गेट फेल्ड दैन देर शुड बी अ सेफ्टी नेट एंड दिस सेफ्टी नेट कम्स इन फॉर्म ऑफ बैकअप्स ऑफ प्राइमरी सिस्टम सो दीज बैकअप्स आर नॉट कैप्ट ऑन द सेम प्राइमरी सिस्टम रादर दीज आर कैप्ट ऑन अ डिफरेंट सिस्टम देर फॉर इन केस ऑफ एनी डिजास्टर टू द प्राइमरी सिस्टम यू री स्टोर द प्राइमरी सिस्टम यूजिंग इट्स बैकअप देर फॉर द बैकअप प्रोवाइड अ काइंड ऑफ डिजास्टर रिकवरी मैकानिज्म टू द प्राइमरी सिस्टम सो यू कैन टेक थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ बैकअप्स ऑफ अ प्राइमरी सिस्टम दैट इज द फुल बैकअप डिफरेंशियल बैकअप एंड इंक्रीमेंटल बैकअप सो नॉर्मली वी यूज फुल बैकअप ऑफ अ प्राइमरी सिस्टम इन कॉम्बिनेशन विद द डिफरेंशियल बैकअप और इंक्रीमेंटल बैकअप नाउ इन दिस आर्काइव बिट इज अ कॉन्सेप्ट विद रिगार्ड टू बैकअप operations so once a file gets modified on the primary system then the archive bit of that file is set uh, to the value of 1 which means uh, that or which indicates uh, that this file has been changed and it needs to be collected by the backup operation now in case of uh, full backup you take the backup of each and every file on the primary system therefore th this takes longest time uh, to backup uh, the data of primary system than the differential or incremental backups but uh, in case of any disaster to the primary system and you want to restore the primary system using its full backup then this takes lesser time than the differential backup and incremental backup since uh, you need to restore only a single full backup now after taking uh, the full backup of a system uh, you set the archive bit of each and every file on the primary system to the value of 0 it means that all the file have been backed up and are now unchanged since last full backup so there is no uh, no need to Uh, backup any file on the system now in differential backup uh, this takes a lesser time than the full backup but it takes longest a longer time uh, to backup the files of a primary system uh, than the incremental type of backup because in differential backup you backup all the files uh, of of the primary system which are modified since last full backup so you will only uh, consider the last full backup and you will not consider any other in, uh, differential backup it means that if uh, the next day you want to take another differential backup then uh, you will only follow the same principle that you will take a, uh, take the backup of all the files which are modified since last full backup so in case of uh, the differential backup uh, this takes uh, lesser time to restore than the incremental backup because you need to restore only two uh, backup that is one the full backup and second is the single differential backup so after taking the differential backup uh, the archive bit of each and every file on the primary system remains unchanged so that the next day once you will take another differential backup then it will follow the same principle that it will only uh, it will backup all the files since last full backup since uh, the last differential backup did not change the archive bit now in case of uh, the incremental backup this takes uh, lesser time than the full backup or the differential backup since you will backup all the files uh, which are modified 
since last full backup or last incremental backup uh, because after taking uh, incremental backup uh, you will set uh, all the files uh, to the value of uh, zero that is archive bit of each and every file on the system uh, is now set to the value of uh, zero so the next day once you will take another uh, incremental backup then it will only take the backup of the files which are modified since last uh, 24 hours hours that is the last incremental backup so uh, it means that uh, once you want to restore uh, the primary system using its incremental backup then this uh, process would be difficult than the differential backup because you need to restore one the full backup and then each and every subsequent backup till the day of disaster so you need to restore multiple incremental backups and one full backup whereas in case of differential backup you need to restore only two backups that is the full backup and the single differential backup so this was all from my side please uh, stay connected thank you